Not a good time to come to New York City. Today is not a good day. They have every fucking thing blocked off for fucking MAGA people. Because Trump is supposed to be out here in New York City. If I had known that, I would have kept it simple and stayed in my workout in Staten Island. But yeah, it's like, it's crazy. You can't even get off the train and go to the fucking main street because of fucking MAGAs. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> All right, bye. on the scene when it comes to protesting, uh, when it comes to activism, whether it's LGBTQ, whether it is Black Lives Matter, you know, Kajin is always in the scene, baby. Look at that. Look, look, look. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. I got some clips for y'all to watch. Trump has poisoned the blood of this country. Absolutely. 100%. Love you, baby. These are terrifying. Is absolutely wild times. It really, really is. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. No who is that Jack Wad? Who is that guy? Actually, I think that's Tony Hinchcliffe, which is super disappointing. I, I mean, I don't. He's a comedian. Um, I don't yeah, follow look, this Trump, like this crew issue very with closely, Puerto Rico but... again. I, I saw it. This was what when he went down after Helene, the horrific hurricane. People there, 
everybody coming together. We sent helicopters down for Minnesota and personnel. You know, this is how you do this during this. And in the first hours, Trump complaining about the response. Does anybody remember how he responded to Maria in Puerto Rico? Uh, it was absolutely horrific. Down there insulting people, throwing it. Uh, look, I, I, you're, I know that the folks who are on here today understand this. People in Puerto Rico are citizens. They pay taxes and they serve in the military at almost a higher rate than anybody else. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like super upsetting. Obviously, it's super upsetting to me. I, my family is from Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican. And like the thing that is so messed up that I wish more people understood is that the things that they do in Puerto Rico are a testing ground for the policies and the horrors that they wish to mm -hmm. and that they do unveil in working class communities across the United States. And I need people to understand that when they when you have some a-hole calling Puerto Rico floating garbage, um, know that that's what they think about you. That, that is, is exactly like look. that's just what they think about you. It's what they think about anyone who makes less money than them. It's what they think about the people who serve them food in a restaurant. It's what they think about the people who who fold their clothes in a store. Like, you're dude, right. Are you serious? The like, are you being, serious? Yeah. The privilege of being on this campaign is traveling across the entire country. There are hundreds of thousands of Puerto Ricans across in battleground states that need to send them a message on this. Need to send I want them, them to like a vote. roll that. I want everyone in Philadelphia to see that clip. If yes. you live in Philly, why don't you go, why don't you go and see or that Redding. clip? Yes. If you live in Redding, Pennsylvania, yeah. which I was there, I was in Redding last week. If yeah. you're in Redding, Great if community. you're in Philly, Super. yeah. Look at that trash. Like what is trash is people actually just thinking of other human beings that way. Are you actually for real? And the the thing that gets me is that these people rely their entire lives rely on working class people. If you have oh, someone yeah. that's not there to harvest the crops that show up in your grocery store, in your Erewhon or your Whole Foods or wherever it is that you go to eat, if you think lesser of, of working class Americans, of Caring people for who- our children. Me, Cindy, Kamala Harris. You know why? Cause once and let our voices be heard, unless you I have 12 years.